I want to thank y'all for coming out today. I know you've had busy schedules and congratulate these people that are getting awards and services and recognition. They do it day in, day out when we're asleep, when we're on vacation, when we're at holidays. Our guys and girls are out here working. I can't say enough of the professionalism of this office of what you put in day in and day out, but it comes back to the guys and girls that are out here in every aspect that wear a badge, and I want to thank you. So thank you. It was one of the things I looked at when I come into office. Recognition goes a long ways, and a lot of times we can't do it with monetary value, but the simple thanking people for what they do day in and day out. Here in Nash County, our public should be so proud of the amount of work and diligence that our people put in every day to keep them safe. You know, you look over the last couple of years, we've had less than three murders in three years. I mean, that, that shows the diligence that our guys and girls are doing here. You look across America at the problems in law enforcement and things of that nature, we're not having those problems. And it's because we believe in community, we believe in our core values, and that's what we're trying to stick to. And we commend our guys and girls for doing what's right daily. The history is Nash County Sheriff's Office for a long time had not recognized employees. And one of the things that Sheriff Stone and the command staff and myself thought about is recognizing employees for their achievements, whether if it's a professional achievement, if it's for retirement, if it's for a life-saving award, to take the time and, and recognize them publicly so the public can be aware of the things that the Sheriff's Office does. At this time, we want to present you with one of the first plaques that we got for you, and I will read it out loud. Elvin Gilliam, with great honor and recognition for your loyal and dedicated service to the Nash County Sheriff's Office, we wish you all the best in your retirement from May 2nd, 2005 to May 31st, 2017. Well, today we're celebrating and recognizing her retirement from an employee that had worked with us for about 12 years. And we recognize some academic achievements where they were able to, some of our employees were able to get uh, certificates, intermediate certificates, advanced certificates. And we recognize employees that had a minimum of 15 years and employees that had a minimum of 20 years. And uh, we recognized uh, some employees that had uh, educational achievements where, you know, they balanced the work life and then they went to school full time on their own. And within a year, year and a half, you know, we have an employee that completed a two year degree and two that completed a four year degree, all three with 4.0 averages. And that says a lot of juggling responsibilities at work and at home and academic. We have 141 employees. I think they're going in 141 directions to accomplish the mission. And I think at times it's good to hit the pause button and recognize each of the employees when they achieve a good milestone in their career and uh, share it with their peers. I think it's a good idea. We've gotten a lot of good feedback. Uh, they enjoy bringing their families up here and, you know, because it's, we say Nash County, but it's really a family and includes the kids. You've seen the kids that came up and I think it's a good idea to recognize them. You know, it's all, it all goes back to the family. They go home to the family every day with the stresses and the frustrations that they see day in and day out. The family has to send them back out the next day to do this. You've got to have a good family support to stay on guard to do what you're supposed to do day in and day out. As I said earlier today, you know, we're up 21% in gunfire deaths on law enforcement. You know, we're sending our families, our friends, out to do a job, you know, and you've got to be trained, you've got to be professional, and you've got to be compassionate dealing with people, and it takes a strong family to do that. And I just think that a strong family makes a strong employee. It's important to recognize Deputy Scott Bass on going above and beyond. Deputy Scott Bass.